Stay woke in these streets. God is saying the enemy is lurking. Proceed with caution. Understand what I'm saying right now. Chosen ones, we have to be low key. We have to stay woke. You don't want the enemy catch you sleeping at the wrong time. Understand what I'm saying? And when I mean staying woke, I mean be careful who you share your information with. Be careful who you call your so called friends. I'm telling y'all, y'all better ride this thing solo. Hear me out. Y'all better ride this thing solo until the wheels fall off. Trust me, God is going to send the right people in your life. You do not have to chase what's left in the past. Let that pass. Stay where is it at? Because God is doing some wonderful things. But guess what? The enemy is lurking. The enemy know what God is up to. The enemy is watching your every move, trust one. I promise you. And you know how I know? Because I'm facing this shit as I'm doing this video. The enemy is lurking. I promise you. And I stay in my own shell. I stay in my own world. But trust me, people are watching. You never heard that saying, it's a small world? You better believe it's a small world. Stay low key. Stay out the way. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things going to be added. You ain't got to go chasing nobody. You ain't got to go chasing no relationship. You ain't got to go chase that man or that woman, right? Your so-called friends don't go back. Your so-called family members do not go back because guess what? They already know what God is doing in your life. And God is saying you need to keep that between him and you. I understand what I'm saying, chosen ones. You have to stay woke because the enemy is lurking. And when I mean proceed with caution, I mean every move that you make. This, this may sound a little crazy, but I realize in life, you ain't always got to rush. Come on now. In life, you ain't always got to rush. Take your time because you already know they lurking. They watching your every single move. Stay out the way, chosen ones. I promise you guys. Because guess what? God has called you to be the light of the world. So therefore, if you're telling everybody your business, if you're telling everybody your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations, guess what's going to happen? The enemy got you right where he wants you. But no weapon formed against you will prosper. I need somebody to comment 1111 below, baby. Because we are looking for new beginners, baby. Tonight. We're not waiting for tomorrow. Tomorrow's not promised, baby. We got to live for today, baby. Understand, understand. And just know if God is for you, who can be against you, chosen ones? Come on now. We got to stay woke. We can't go to sleep. I don't sleep. I mean, of course, I get a couple hours in. But guess what? When I'm chosen, I know that God has chosen me to do this vision. It, it gets realer. Than, than, than what you think, guys. It, it, it gets real out here. I'm talking about far as spiritual warfare. Oh, it gets real. It really gets real. Understand what I'm saying? But like I said, God said, I got your back. You have to stay woke, though. Don't you let the enemy catch you slipping. Because guess what happens when he catch you slipping? He going to laugh and said, I told you so. I got his ass now. I got her ass now. Stay woke. You stay. You proceed with caution. You stay prayerful. Understand where I'm coming from right now. Stay in your word. Read your Bible. Stay out of harm's way. Trust me, because think about it. It's a lot that's really going on right now. It's a lot of killings and shootings. Trust me. It's a lot of that going on right now. And if you can agree with me, come on now. You can just turn on the news and look for yourself. It's all over YouTube. It's a lot going on, guys. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to people's energy when you're out. For example, I was just out at the gas station. I was out here and out there, right? Taking care of my business. And I'm really looking at people, right? And I'm discerning their spirits. That's why I said, you're not chosen if you don't have the spirit of discernment. So this is what I did. I actually sat back. And watch people for a minute. Just to see what people are about. What they're going to do. And how they're doing it. 
And first thing I, I notice about people is a body language and a spirit. You put you got to put those two together. Pay attention, guys. Chosen one, listen to their body language and their spirit. That's going to tell you everything you need to know. And I'm not talking about nobody, but I'm saying it was this crazy guy walking down the street. And he carrying bags and shit. And this how he walking. This motherfucker. I'm telling you, it looked like if he see you, he go, he go fuck try to knock you out. Understand what I'm saying? We're living in our last days. And that man, the way his body language was, and you can tell his spirit, you say something wrong to him, he gonna let you have it. Misery love company. You gotta be careful out here, chosen ones. Everybody not chosen like us. So we have to proceed with caution. And I'm going to tell you what's your number one weapon that you need to keep on you when you out here in these streets. Prayer. You don't need no gun. You don't need no knife. You don't need no mace. You don't need none of that. You need prayer. Can nothing beat the power of prayer. I'm telling you, you need constant prayer out here. That's why now I know why the Bible says man should always pray and not lose sight. Now I get it. Because there's so much negativity out here. There's so many people that just, that don't give a damn about you. There's so many people out here that want to see you fall. You have to stay prayed up everywhere you go because you don't know where the enemy is at. You don't know what is he plotting. Oh, it gets real. You can't even go to a concert no more without it getting shot up. Understand what I'm saying? You can't even go to the movies. When you, and you're coming out the movies, somebody blasting everybody up. You have to be prayerful and stay out the way. It's a time and place for everything. Ask God to give you knowledge, wisdom, understanding. But most importantly, you ask God to guide your intuition. I'm going to give it to you. Cut, cold, raw, baby. I'm not like, don't get it twisted. There's some really good motivational speakers on here. But guess what, baby? They're they not like Jordan the Chosen One, baby. I'm going to give it to you. Cold, cut, raw. So when you, when you out there, you already know what to do. You're going to be ready, baby. They say stay ready, that way you ain't got to get ready. So I need you to hear what I'm about to say right now. When you prayed up, the enemy can't come between that. Because that's a relationship you built with God. And when you pray, God is renewing your mind. He's renewing your spirit. People feel it on you. Understand what I'm saying? He will renew your heart. He will turn that stony heart into flesh. All this is coming from prayer. Understand where I'm coming from. You have to stay woke, guys. The enemy is really out here lurking, trying to figure out what are you doing, how do you do it, and where are you getting it from. Tell the devil you a liar, and you go back to the pits of hell to where you belong in the mighty, matchless name of Jesus. I told you guys, I'm sizzling hot right now, baby. I'm sizzling hot. You won't find a mo motivational speaker like this, baby. I got all the energy in the world to give out, baby. I got all the motivation. I have all the inspiration. Do you hear that? <laughs> That's a sign right there. Stay out the way. Ask God to guide your intuition. Understand what I'm saying? You got to start slow cooking these folks. Don't just meet up with anybody. Don't just date anybody. Slow cook these people. Get to know them first. That's that's another thing with proceeding with caution. You got to be careful who you get to know because you don't know who sent these people. You don't know what these people are about. These people are crazy. Trust me. These people are really living this worldly life. They're not chosen like you. They don't follow God like you. You have to be careful. But God got your back. Don't even worry about it, chosen ones. God got your back as God is my witness. Step, always stay steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. I need somebody to comment 1111 right now below because I really feel this video right now. And if any one of these messages resonate with your spirit, give a brother a thumbs up. If any one of these messages resonate with your spirit right now in your soul and your heart, hit that like button for your boy. I need you to comment 1111 below if you're looking for new beginnings, if you're looking for prosperity, if you're looking for abundance, if you're looking for wealth, God going to do it for you. We have to touch and agree together, guys. We can't go against the grain. Understand what I'm saying? 
Decepticons, I've been seeing the little negative comments in the comments below, but guess what? I'm just gonna block you because I tell you my, my channel is positive, always positive, will not be negative at all. I don't tolerate it at all. I done been through much hell. For how long? Too long. God said enough is enough. Victory shall be mine. In the name of Jesus, go back to the pits of hell to where you belong because I see you, devil. Y'all be careful with these people on here with these WhatsApp. I don't even have a WhatsApp. Y'all be careful with these people. I'm just letting y'all know before they start this crap. I don't do no WhatsApp. I don't believe in no WhatsApp. The devil is a liar. All I know is what's happening. That's all I know. <laughs> I understand what I'm saying. People who make a WhatsApp, you got to be careful. Trust me. There's all kind of crooks out here. Devil, you a liar. Go back to the pits of hell to where you belong. And just know if God is for you, chosen ones, can nobody be against you. And as 11 minutes is coming, and 11 seconds is coming as well, we do this every video because guess what? I always see 11-11 every time. I see 11 a lot. And let me tell you something. If you see 11-11 a lot, you better believe God is about to move on your behalf, baby. As it's slowly approaching, I dare you to type 11-11 right about now, in the name of Jesus, and put in Jesus' name as you type in 1111, put in Jesus' name, because God is going to move mountains on your behalf. God going to move these enemies out of your way, chosen ones. God got a blessing with your name on it. You just have to believe, and you will achieve. You know how we do it up in here. We don't believe in nine to fives. But if you got to do it to get on your grind, if you got to do it to get on your hustle, I'm not mad at you. I'm going to salute you and support you all the way. But guess what? I'm going to get you to your next destination because that's my job to motivate you to greatness. We're not going for mediocre up in here, baby. I need somebody to type in the comments below right now and say I'm destined for greatness in Jesus name. Because everything has to be in his name. Everything. He's the creator of the world. Why not? He's a jealous God. Put that in the comments below right now. Put, I am destined for greatness in Jesus' name. And watch God elevate you. You ain't going to no longer be front desk anymore. God going to elevate you to something different and something better. Hallelujah. I believe God. You'll, you'll go from front desk to being HR. Come on now. God will do it. Trust me, if he did it for me, he'll do it for you. Come on now. I need somebody to put 1111 in the comments below. Everybody put 1111 in the comments below because God is doing some wonderful things in our lives, chosen ones. And I'm, I'm here for the chosen ones, baby. I'm here for the WTC gang, baby. We're going higher all the way. No weapon formed against us will prosper. And you tell that devil to go back to the pits of hell to where he belong with his old ugly self. I love you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. Even my enemies, I love you. But God told me just for my enemies not to be a fool for them again. And the same goes for you, chosen ones. But just know I'm all for the chosen ones, baby. And if you would like to be a blessing, if God put it on your heart to give, Feel free to cash app at me at God will provide three zero. I do have a cash app. Understand what I'm saying? That's if you want to be a blessing, if God move in your heart to cash at me at God will provide three zero. I also have a PayPal and as God will provide three zero. It's the same thing as my cash app and I definitely will put it in the description below. Because God is doing a, a miracle and he's going to do it. He's going to work that miracle in your life. Trust me. I believe in sowing seeds. It says, it says given it shall be given unto you. Your cup going to run over. I promise you. I am a cheerful giver. God loves a cheerful giver. I am definitely a cheerful giver. Ask anybody. I love to give. Trust me. And I'm going to spell it out. Because I know sometimes somebody don't know how to spell it out. It also will be in the description. But it's G-O-D-P-R-O-V-I-D-E-3-0. God will provide 3-0. I picked that name because I know God is going to make a way out of no way. Trust me. Because he already did it for me. And he definitely going to do it for you guys. 
You guys are about to enter into a world of abundance, wealth, prosperity. That's why you have to stay woke. You guys are or you guys are not just coming at 11 11 for no reason. Understand what I'm saying? You really got to believe it when you put it up in there, because when I type in 11 11, I believe it with all my heart, mind and spirit. And understand this, if two or three or more are gathered in his name, he will be in the midst. Amen. And just know if you need a friend, you got it in me. If you need prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you have the best motivational speaker in me. Because guess what? God is going to do it. And guess what? I, I just believe in the power of prayer. I don't know about you, but I believe in the power of prayer. Father God, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. We come humbly before you right now, Father God, with thanksgiving in our hearts. I'm praying for the chosen ones. I begin a lot of prayer requests, Father God. And I want to make these prayer requests known unto you, Father God, that you will bless each and every viewer in this video right now and all my other videos, that you will bless their lives. Continue you, oh God, to make ways out of no ways for them, Father God, and their families in the name of Jesus. We look up to the hills from which come with our help and knowing that our help coming from you, Father God. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. You go back to the pits of hell to where you belong, Father God. And we ask you that you continue to bless us and keep us in all of your ways. Forgive us for all of our sins. And if you find anything that's in us that shouldn't be, please take it out right now. Anything that's unclean, that's not right, take it out, Lord. In the name of Jesus, continue to lift us up, build us up where we are torn down, Father God. Let somebody say, what must I do to be saved? Because that's what it's all about, Father God. Continue to bless my viewers and my subscribers. Bless them coming in and coming out, Father God. In the name of Jesus, bless everybody else on YouTube all over the world, Father God. In the name of Jesus. Bless their YouTube channel. Bless their subscribers that they get more subscribers. And bless, oh God, that they get a lot of likes and comments as well too, Father God. Bless everybody in the name of Jesus. Even bless my enemies, Father God. Forgive them for they know not what they do, Lord. But help us not to be a fool for them again, Father God. And we give you all the glory. We give you all the praise, Father God. Help us not to be ignorant concerning Satan and his devices. Give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding right now in Jesus' name. I can feel your presence right now in this room right now. And I thank you for all your many blessings, Father God. There's nobody like you. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Just know that I love you guys. I love each and every one of you guys. And there's nothing you can do about it. We the chosen ones. Go. Please stay tuned to the next video. Be blessed.